Welcome to Brooke Does Yoga. My name is Brooke. Let's do some yoga together. Today we have what I'm calling an intermediate flow, not necessarily because we're going to be doing anything super crazy or difficult, but mostly because this flow is relying on the fact that you have an established yoga practice that you're familiar with some of the poses and pose names uh, because my cueing is going to be a little bit more simplified during this flow. So the idea is uh, if you're doing this routine alongside me, you kind of already have a feel in your body for these shapes and um, this sequence is going to give you some space to experience those shapes in your body uh, without a whole lot of external input. Sometimes when we come to our yoga mats, we want to just be able to feel inside, feel the body, feel the breath, um, and let that be a personal inside experience. There's so much value in that. So uh, that being said, if you are a beginner and you want to start here and kind of learn on your feet, you're welcome to join us. Uh, you may want a couple of things for today's practice, maybe a yoga block or two. Um, these can be anything from a shoebox to a book or some canned goods in your house. Um, just something to support you during a couple balance poses today. You may also want some kind of blanket, uh, pillow, towel, something like that. So if you don't already have the props that you want, go grab them and we'll meet back on our mats. Once you've got your props, go ahead and set your block blocks up at the top of your mat and then we'll start by coming all the way down onto our backs. Find a position here that feels good for you. That might be the knees are bent, soles of feet to the floor. We might walk the feet out wider and let the knees fall in. We might take the legs out long. Just find yourself in a place that feels good that you can start to bring your attention deeper inside. Letting the shoulders roll down the back and be supported up by your mat. Letting the neck be nice and loose. And then taking a few deep breaths. And as you lie on your mat, noticing your breath and your body, see if you can begin to elongate your exhales, making the exhales just a little bit longer than your inhales, breathing out slowly and completely all the way to the very, very end of the breath. And take about five more breaths like that. And then at the end of your fifth breath, bring both knees in towards your chest and give yourself a hug. You might rock and roll from side to side on your spine. If the eyes closed, they can start to flutter open here. And then we'll take 
the right hand to the right knee, the left hand to the left knee, and start to make some big wide circles with your knees. So it's kind of like swimming breaststroke in a pool. You'll, your knees are going to come wide apart, and then you'll press them towards the top of your mat, bring them back together, and in towards the chest, and then out wide. And you start to find the matching of your breath and your movement here. See how big, how smooth you can make these circles. And then change directions. Good, and then the next time the knees come back in together, take both hands to your right knee, let your left leg go out long. If that hurts your low back, you can bend the knee. Hug the right knee in towards the chest, as close as you can get it. Good. And then the left hand on your right knee, take your right knee all the way across the body. Reclined twist, maybe a block under the knee here. Inhale, come back to center. Left knee comes in, switch, hug the left knee towards the chest. Right hand, left knee, take a twist. Inhale, back to center. Both knees to the chest. Good, and then bring the knees directly over the hip joints, the shins parallel to the floor. Tug your belly button to your spine so that your low back meets down on the mat. Hands can rest down by the sides, or we might interlace the fingers behind the head. Just for a moment, stay here, pressing the low back down into the back. Good. And then as you exhale, start to bring your feet towards the floor, keeping the connection of your low back to the mat. Toes might touch. Inhale, bring the legs up. Keep going. Three more. Good, hug the knees in. Either roll to one side or start to rock up and down the spine. Do a couple, have some fun, build some momentum, and then roll over the shins and find all fours, hands and knees. Tabletop pose. Take a couple rounds of cat and cow. Inhaling to drop the belly. Exhaling to round the spine. And then after you've done a few cat and cow, start to make it a little bit looser, maybe Moving into some side bending, maybe some big barrel rolls of the chest, let the neck get involved. We might walk the hands a little bit forward, take the hips back. Just any kind of free movement through the spine. 
That feels really good today. Don't forget to go in both directions if you're doing something directional. And then eventually everyone tuck the toes under, take the hips back to the heels, press down into the hands and then lift your knees, start to straighten the legs, downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out the feet here eventually finding some stillness. One more round of breath. And then at the bottom of your exhale, bend your knees, look forward at your hands, walk or step, feet to hands. Inhale, lift up halfway, firm your belly, flatten your back, reach your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine, fold in. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. One more. Hold in your forward fold. Let head and neck relax. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Tadasana, mountain pose. Plant your feet well. Bring both hands down to the sides of the body from your shoulder girdle. Spin your palms to face forward. Widen your collarbones. Firm your low belly. Soften the backs of the knees. Reach the crown of the head up. Inhale, hands go high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, all the way up high. Half sun salutations, two more like that. Exhale. Inhale. And fold. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Last one, here we go. We'll meet with our hands at heart center in Tadasana. Take a nice deep breath out, stand, and then inhale, both hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Take your right foot to the back of your mat. A big step, low lunge. And you might get into the hips here a little bit. Yeah. And then walk both of your hands towards what would be like two o'clock on a clock. So kind of off to the side and forward. Plant your hands, almost like your upper body is in downward facing dog. Reach your hips up and away. And you can play with this back heel, maybe spinning it down to the mat, turning it up. Exhale, walk the hands back to frame the foot. Take your front foot all the way to the back of your mat, your version of a plank pose. Hold in your plank. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, lift your heart. Cobra, baby, cobra, up dog. Two more. Mm -hmm. 
Make your way back, downward facing dog. Two deep breaths in your down dog. On your next inhale, lift your right heel up towards the sky and then pull your right heel towards your right glute. Stack your right hip on top of your left hip. Scorpion dog, hips open towards the long edge of your mat. Your heart is still going to square down parallel with the floor. Little twist here. Level the hips. Step your right foot forward. Shift your weight forward. Step the back foot up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Deep breath. Second side, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, touch the ground. Left foot, big step. Low lunge. Mm -hmm. Feel into the hips. And then walk the hands towards 10 o'clock on a clock. Reach the hands forward and out. Press the palms down into the floor really strongly. Reach your hips back and away from your hands. Maybe some plays with that back heel. You might take some movements here. Inhale, hands frame the foot. Step your front foot all the way back. Plank pose your way. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower half or all the way down. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, downward dog. Two deep breaths in your down dog. Inhale, reach left heel high. Bend your left knee. Pull your heel towards your butt and then stack left hip on top of your right hip. Hinge open, scorpion dog. Exhale, level the hips. Step your left foot forward. Shift your weight forward. Step forward all the way, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Deep breath. Inhale, sweep the hands up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, firm belly, flat back. Exhale, touch the ground, right foot, big step back. This time, bring the back knee down, low lunge on Dhanayasana. Inhale to reach both hands high. Strengthen the legs, root down through your front foot and your back shin. And then find your flexibility from there. The hips sink down, but the legs are still strong. Then bring the right hand to the right hip. Take a little side bend. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, left hand, left hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands come down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Take your front foot all the way back. Flank pose. Vinyasa.
Three breaths in your down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, Anjani Asana, second side. Strengthen through the legs. Send the hips down as you lift your heart. Left hand, left hip, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, second side. Inhale, center. Exhale, plant the hands. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Step back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Tadasana. Inhale, back up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, touch the ground. Left foot steps all the way back. Keep that back knee lifted. From here, start to walk the hands around your mat. So just like we did in that earlier lunge, we're gonna start to explore here a little bit, moving around in the hips and the arms. On your inhale, find your way back to center, and then bring both hands high, crescent pose. Take three strong breaths here. Find your crescent. How does this shape feel in your body? Exhale, bring the hands down. Left hand plants, right hand reaches up high. Take a twist. Exhale, hand comes down. Front foot goes all the way back. Vinyasa, your way. Three breaths in down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Back knee stays lifted. Once again, start to explore walking the hands around your mat, off of your mat, changing the orientation of your feet, your hips. On your inhale, come back to center. Set your feet well. Inhale, crescent pose. Three breaths. Exhale, hands come down. Right hand plants, take a twist. Exhale, both hands down. Step your back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. 
Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, touch the ground. Step both feet back and find downward facing dog. Three breaths here. On your next inhale, reach right heel to the sky. On your exhale, come forward to plank. Pull your knee in towards your nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, up high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. This time, spin your back heel down at about a 90 degree angle, setting up for warrior two. Cartwheel your arms wide. Couple breaths here, settle in. On your next inhale, flip your front palm, find reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Reach the front hand forward, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. We'll start to flow between those two, letting the breath be our guide. Inhale, warrior two. Hold and breathe. On your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Hold here. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle pose and hold. Inhale, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down around your front foot. Front foot goes back, plank pose. Vinyasa your way. Three breaths in your version of Downward Dog. On your next inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, come forward, plank, knee to nose. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, exhale across the body, inhale up high, left foot comes forward, back heel spins down, warrior two. Settle in, find your warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle pose. Exhale, warrior two. Flow. Inhale, 
Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse and hold. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Warrior two. Cartwheel your hands. Vinyasa your way. Reconnect to your breath. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Spin your back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then straighten your front knee, reverse triangle pose. Inhale, upright your torso, reach the arms wide. And then reach forward with your front hand. We're finding triangle pose. We're gonna create length on the side body first, deepening this front hip crease and then bringing this front hand down to maybe rest on our leg. We might grab our block here for a little extra support. Back hand goes overhead, triangle pose. Good, take your gaze down forward of your front foot. Bend into your front knee. Walk your hand or your block inside of that front foot. Side angle pose, either this hand stays straight up high or goes overhead. And then we might bring the top hand to the hip. Once again, we're gonna look forward of the front foot. Walk our hand or our block forward. Half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Exhale, step all the way back, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands. Vinyasa, your choice. Three deep breaths and down dog. On your next inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot forward. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Reverse triangle, front leg straightens. Exhale, triangle pose. Drop your gaze, side angle. And Ardha Chandrasana, float forward. Exhale, slowly, gently, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down. Step your front foot back and then put both knees down. Take a rest in child's pose.
Continue to rest for a few breaths in child's pose. Stay as you are. Taking some really deep, full breaths. Feeling all of the energy moving through your body. Maybe give yourself a little congratulations, some good thoughts for doing some hard work. Thank your body for moving and breathing for you. And then as you're ready, slowly rise up and meet me in a seat on your mat. So this is where we might want our blanket or pillow or towel. We might set that underneath our hips to give us a little bit extra support here. And then we're going to take both legs out long, balancing and standing postures. Use a lot of our outer hip muscles, so we're going to stretch those a little bit. Bend your right knee and bring your right knee or right heel in towards you. And then step your right foot over and seal both edges of that foot down to the mat. And then inhale, traction against your legs to stretch your spine long. And take a twist to the right, wrapping your elbow around the front leg. Continue to breathe really deeply, even into this deep twist. On your inhale, come back to center, gently step your right foot back over, and then take the sole of your right foot in towards your inner left thigh. Let the knee fall out wide. Take both hands to the sides of the outstretched leg, lift the heart. If we want to effort a little bit more, we might lift the arms up high. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, and then take the right leg out long, switch sides, left heel comes in, we might step it over, and then get your foundation really strong, your hips root down, your foot root, roots down, this extended leg is going to actively press down into the floor, extend the spine long, and then take that twist. And even now that we're not moving, try to stay here, present in these shapes, noticing how it feels to have your body in this shape. Noticing what it does to your breath, maybe what it does to your emotional state or mental state. Exhale, release back to center. Step the left foot over. Bring the left foot to the inner right thigh. And then again, just a little spiraling of the ribs. We might stay here with our hands supporting us. We might lift the hands high and take a deep inhale down into our low belly. And then exhale, forward fold.
Inhale, rise up. Extend the left leg out long. And then if you're on that blanket, maybe fix your seat a little bit. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet in together for Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Try to be not worried about how close your heels get to you. It's okay if your shape is more of a diamond than a triangle or whatever. The important thing is here, we're gonna have a nice, long, tall spine. Let the knees relax. We might stay right here upright. We might take the hands behind and let them help us shift forward a little bit. We might take a forward fold all the way down towards our feet. Again, just noticing, noticing how this shape changes the way that we are, the way that we see, think. Inhale, slowly rise back up. Help your knees in towards each other. And then if you're sitting on something, just gently move it out from underneath you. And take a gentle grip on the legs and slowly lower yourself all the way down onto your back. And walk your heels a little bit closer to your hips here. Let the neck and the shoulders relax down into the mat. And then on your next inhale, press down strongly into your feet to lift your hips towards the sky, bridge pose. Reach your heart towards your chin. Any variations that feel good to you here. On your next exhale, slowly make your way vertebra by vertebra all the way down to the mat, letting the hips both touch down at the same time. And then walk your feet wider than hip width as part, maybe as wide as your mat. Either knees fall in together or a windshield wiper side to side. On your next inhale, come back to center, walk the feet hip width, hug your knees in towards your chest, and then we'll start to settle down for Shavasana. Maybe if there are other movements or poses that your body is really asking for right now, go ahead and take them, or set yourself up for a nice cozy Resting pose, you might take that blanket or pillow and place it behind your head or drape the blanket over you for some warmth. But do allow yourself time to rest. We've done a lot of work and it's really important to give the body this period of being still, doing what we would call nothing. But really during this time, the body is integrating and processing and digesting everything that it's done and felt and experienced during our practice.
you're welcome to stay here in a resting pose for as long as you would like. That's the great thing about practicing at home. You have some flexibility to do what feels best for you. If you feel like your rest is complete for the day, or for your practice rather, just slowly start to awaken the body, moving fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, any little wiggles and stretches like you're awakening for the first time today. And eventually you'll find your way over to one side and then gently use the strength of your arms to press yourself up to a seat. Any seat that's comfortable for you. Letting yourself go slow and be easy for a few more deep breaths. And then once you arrive in your seat, just find somewhere to place your hands that feels really good and helps you connect to yourself. And just take a moment, take one small moment to be grateful, to thank yourself for coming to your mat today, to thank your body for all of the hard work that it does for you all the time. Maybe to be grateful to the people in your life who hopefully support you and love you who have made you who you are today. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you once again for practicing with me, for coming here to do Brooke Does Yoga, to do yoga together. I hope you have a great day, morning, night, evening, wherever it is that you are. And I'll see you next time.